Hello, welcome back. I went to the Chaska bins today. I typically go to the St. Paul ones, um, but I went with my friend Nicole and she has a YouTube channel too. So I'm gonna link her so that you can subscribe to her channel too. Um, but I wanna show you what I got. This is a Patagonia and it's actually um, a little kid's one. Um, a little cute little fleece. See, this is something Nicole found that she thought I might want to sell. It is a Deadstock New Tags Jansen um, vintage swimsuit. It's pretty cute. It like it has fall vibes. So I'm like maybe end of summer someone will be thinking about getting that. This is another thing Nicole found for me, and she was right that I would love it. I love a vintage floral knit just like this. It's so cute. Very grandma core. Um, I picked this up for myself. It's like a little placemat. It's like a wool knit um, Southwestern style um, placemat. I'm either going to put it on one of these shelves here um, or another shelf, but I just thought it fit the kind of Southwestern vibe that I've got going on. This is a pair of Gymshark shorts and they're kind of like the baggy shorts, which you know, uh, the youth are into. Just trying to, you know, fit all different demographics, not just grandma core like me. This is a silk All Saints blouse. Um, I have rarely found this brand before and it hasn't sold super well for me, um, but because this was silk, I decided to pick it up. These are a pair of Free People shorts. This I found as I was going up to the register. I think it was in someone's throwback pile. It's Alice and Olivia and it's a little floral halter top. Um, and it's funny because Nicole was saying how Alice and Olivia frequently is like polyester or something that isn't like super high quality. Um, and so I was specifically looking at the fabric content and it is in fact 100% silk. So that was really fun to find a silk top. This is another newest tags item. It's anthropology and it's just a basic um, tank top um, made by anthropology. So I picked it up because it had the tags on it. I'll probably bring it to a buy sell trade store. This, I have definitely been riding the Brat wave, um, Charlie XCX Brat with all the lime green. This is an Athleta long sleeve top. And then I also got this for myself. The brand is Cut Loose and I think it's vintage, um, but it's a cotton and linen blend midi dress and I just thought it was super cute. So I'm gonna keep this one for myself. This is, if I can find it, a Wilfred from Aritzia blouse. And this might be another top for buy, sell, trade, but I'll probably list it in the meantime. This is for my niece. She is a Halloween lover and she also loves Disney. So I thought this was perfect for her. Um, okay, this is the third time I found this style of tank top. It's um, Beyond Yoga and it's this little crop top. And this style is a bolo, like it sells so well. I have one listed right now and it's getting so many likes on all platforms and I've gotten some offers, but I'm just like, I know I should hold out because it's so popular. Um, so I'm just waiting for someone to just outright buy it. But I can't believe I found another one today. Um, this is a vintage Cotton Traders sweater, and I just loved the stripes. It's so cool. I was trying not to pick up sweaters, but that one just had to come home with me. This is a pair of Lee denim shorts, and I don't know if it's vintage. These are what the tags are. Um, it doesn't really scream vintage to me, but it's a really cute style, so I picked them up. This is something that I found for my friend Matt. Um, it's a wave washed linen um, axis is the brand but it just was a really cool pattern and because it was linen i thought he would like it 
This is a vintage dress. The brand is Dorothy Scholen Platinum Petites. Um, and it's very nautical, so much so that as you can see, there is an anchor charm on the belt, but it's super cute. Um, so I thought I would give that a go. Might see that in an upcoming reel or, um, sorry, YouTube short. Oh, this was another really cool vintage find. It's, um, Jaeger made in Great Britain and a hundred percent real suede. And it buttons all the way down. It has pockets. So perfect for fall. And okay, so the last two items go together. And let's see if I can find the tag. It's so interesting. It's very vintage. Um, it says produced expressly for American Airlines by Brookhurst. So, um, it must have been part of a uniform for flight attendants, um, but it's floral and it's so interesting. Like, was this for flight attendants like going to Hawaii? I don't know. I need to do some research on this, but I just thought it was super cool because it was like explicitly like a uniform for an airline. Um, and then this was same tag and it's a matching jacket to go with the dress. Um, so that was really cool to find. Um, I'll maybe do a follow-up if I learn anything more about that. Otherwise, I think it's just a really cool vintage set, which you know I love to pick up. And that's, uh, that's her spot. As you can see, I have like a bunch of other stuff over here because I've had some folks give me some really great shoes. And I'll just give you a sneak peek. I'm not going to do a video for this, but I had a friend give me five pairs of John Fluvog shoes. Aren't those amazing? So besides everything I got at the bins today, I also have lots of really awesome shoes to list. So make sure you follow me on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Depop, whichever one is your favorite. You can follow me on all of them. You can follow me on Instagram. You'll see more photos um, and videos of all of these items. And if you're only here on YouTube, that's great too. Just make sure you like and subscribe.